median nerve floss works to move the median nerve up and down very slightly. This is good for people that have some hand and palm pain um, or other median nerve tension or entrapments. Uh, you always want to slack one end, the head, or the arm, and tension the opposite. So for the head to stretch, it'll be head away. To slack, it'll be head towards my right hand. Uh, for the arm, it'll be wrist back, fingers back, to stretch, and wrist in, crunch up, to slack. So the move for the median nerve stretch The nerve floss for the radial nerve, which comes along the back of your arm, is again focusing on slacking one end uh, for the neck, head away or head towards my right arm. And for the arm, for stretching it, it'll be thumb in, bring the wrist back and rotate in towards the body. And to slack it, it'll be up and beside. So for a radial nerve floss, for flossing the ulnar nerve, which comes along the inside of your arm, and for the pinky and fourth finger, uh, again, you want to slack the neck or tension the arm and vice versa. So for the head, will be head away to stretch, head towards to slack. For the arm, we'll be getting the pinky and fourth finger back beside the head to stretch, pinky fourth finger in and to the side to slack. The ulnar nerve floss,